and welcome Asi Shim in the hangar. Today I will be showing you the Runcam Sparrow and the Sparrow Micro. Sparrow Micro here. And the main question is why? Why do you need it? I asked them what's the difference and I guess the main difference is that it's being CMOS so you can switch between PAL and NTSC. If you stick with one system you don't need it and the other point is it's 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So if you have 16 by 9 goggles, then that's a good point. We will check in this video the latency. I mean, in the past, CMOS cams were not good with latency. CCDs were the way to go. And also the small cams were not as good as the bigger cams. But we will see if and how this has changed. For this reason, I will compare it to the Runcam MicroSwift. For the races of you, the latency is the most important thing and I did a few videos about latency and they are really boring so you might want to skip this and I, I, I will keep it short. So I have the camera attached to my video transmitter, I have this little light box here and I can switch this LED and on this oscilloscope the red line is just the LED when it's powered on showing 12 volt jump here. And the yellow line, the photodiode, which is tucked here to the monitor. And with moving horizontal, I can read the milliseconds here. The milliseconds from turning on the light to actually seeing the light. And as this increases, it means that the photodiode changes resistance because it sees light. That's a very cool method for me to measure latency. Of course, the main unsharpness of measurement here is a PAL frame. PAL frame is 20 milliseconds. So depending on where you are in the PAL frame when you switch on the light, it can be a random number between 0 and 20 milliseconds. I do around 10 measurements and do an average. But I really think that you could take the lowest or the minimal number of milliseconds you get. Milliseconds. Now I turn it on and have only like three to four milliseconds. Now again 11 and so forth. You get the deal. I repeat this with all the camps. After measuring the latency of these guys here, I think that latency stopped being really an issue. I mean, we have to check newer cams if they fell back to some nasty latency behaviors. But I think they somehow managed to find fast enough chips. The advantages that CMOS always had, like more resolution, more sharpness, more gimmicks, they now come into play because they are not they are not slower than the CCD cams. So that's an interesting development. What I absolutely hated about the Sparrow Micro here. I mean, the Swift Micro is a CCD version, a 4x3, and it has this voltage sensing cable and OSD capabilities. The Sparrow Micro has no voltage display and no OSD. Once again, what are you doing, Runcam? I mean, that's a nice feature for me, and you've shown that on the small cams you can do it. We have to wait for the Sparrow Micro 2 to get a voltage sensor here. Other than that, really, really good quality. And what amazed me is that I didn't actually see an uh, image quality difference between the micro and the normal sized version. So that's really awesome and you can easily get away with using this on your quad. The other the only downside maybe is that it uses different lens sizes. So you might have enough spare lenses for the normal sized cams and you don't have for the micro sized cams. But yeah, that's the one thing. The difference between Swift Micro and the Sparrow Micro, I didn't actually see too much of a difference. Maybe this is a bit sharper. And the cool thing is you can switch between PAL and NTSC if you need this. I will stick with PAL. PAL is a few milliseconds more latency. But if you need ultra speed, ultra performance, use it in NTSC mode. If you need details, if you want to recreate this, it's just a circuit. I 
feed it off a 9 volt block here, not to have any power interferences. I have a resistor here, a 100k ohm resistor, and this is a photodiode. And you can measure it on plus and minus and get a jump in the power line of the photodiode, which is really helpful. I will link you the details where to get or what, what specification this photodiode is and the resistor, but it's fairly easy. I can also link you the settings of the oscilloscope, like which amount of millivolts and the scope and everything. So thanks for watching. If you have some questions, leave it in the comments. I'm happy to answer them as always. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already do so, please. Thanks a terrible lot for all of you subscribers that came here the last week when I did my rant about these EV100 goggles. I still don't like them. <laughs> I think nobody does. I almost forgot the most important stuff. And now it really pays off for you if you watch my videos all until the end. Because Runcam is actually nice enough to give away two of these Sparrow Micros to you guys. All you need to do is let me know a good reason why you should get one. You will get this directly from Runcam. That means there might be some customs uh, or taxes included for you but shipping and everything is free. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Run Ken Sparrow Micro Giveaway. Thanks for watching. Bye.